You are a, a tall man, and like me, I'm told you had a, an insane growth spurt. Yeah, I was kind of a late bloomer when I was 16. I was 38 when it happened for me. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin Costner is known for his diverse talents as an actor, producer, director, author, and even a singer. But who is he really as a person? We'll be taking a look at the revelations that have left fans shocked, as Kelly Riley confirms what we all suspected about Kevin Costner. Before we delve into the revelations made by Kelly, it's essential to understand the journey that shaped Kevin Costner into the iconic figure he is today. Let's rewind to his childhood and trace the path that led him to become the multi-talented figure admired by millions. His difficult early life. Born in 1955 in California, Kevin was the third child of Sharon Ray and William Costner. Despite the joy of his arrival, the family also faced the sorrow of losing their second son at birth. Growing up wasn't easy for Kevin. His dad worked hard as an electric line servicer for Southern California Edison, which meant they moved around a lot. Being the new kid at school all the time made it tough for Kevin to fit in, but he found solace in sports. Baseball was his passion, and he dreamed of playing professionally. He even tried out for the California Angels, but the major leagues remained just out of reach. But when his dreams of a baseball career didn't pan out, Kevin had to rethink his plans. He decided to give acting a shot instead. Yet diving into the world of acting wasn't easy. Kevin knew it was a risky move. He doubted himself and wondered if he had what it takes to make it in Hollywood. So when he graduated from California State University, Fullerton, with a degree in finance, Kevin found himself at a crossroads. Unsure of what to do next, he played it safe and took a marketing job. But fate had other plans. A chance meeting with the legendary Richard Burton changed everything. Burton saw something special in Kevin and urged him to pursue acting. Kevin took a decision and followed his dream into the world of Hollywood, thanks to that unexpected encounter. Actually, that day, Kevin Costner and his wife were coming back from their honeymoon. When they spotted Burton on the same plane, Kevin felt urged to talk to him about his passion for acting. Now, Costner was a bit anxious about talking to the famous actor, but he decided to give it a try anyway. And you know what? He was pleasantly surprised. Burton was really nice and encouraging. Costner later shared, I really wanted to talk to him. The conversation was short, but he was gentle and kind, telling me, I think you should give acting a try. Can you imagine how good that must have felt for Costner? After that chat, he finally felt sure that he could pursue acting as a career. Kevin Costner's hard rise to stardom. But it wasn't easy at all because he didn't have any connections in the entertainment world. So he basically started from zero, learning the ins and outs of the business all by himself. While he chased his acting dreams, he had to take on all sorts of odd jobs to pay the bills in between auditions. Being a nobody in a world full of legends, Costner eventually started landing some small roles in movies and commercials. His big break seemed to come when he earned the part of Alex in The Big Chill, only to be disappointed when his scenes got left on the cutting room floor. But the director, Lawrence Kasdan, promised to make it right and assured Costner he'd be in his next movie. Kasdan stayed true to his word, casting Costner in Silverado, and that's when the magic truly began for him. From then on, Costner soared, landing roles in some of the most beloved movies of the following decades, like Field of Dreams, The Bodyguard, and Wyatt Earp. As his love for the movies grew, he decided to step behind the camera, trying his hand at directing. His first attempt, Dances with Wolves, was a hit with both audiences and critics alike. He followed it up with two more films, The Postman and Open Range, solidifying his place not just in front of the camera, but behind it as well. As we mentioned earlier that Costner does have a personal love for baseball, and he's always been a big fan of the game. Not just that, he has acted in quite a few baseball movies too. Back when he was starting out, Kevin starred in a movie called Chasing Dreams, which was all about baseball. But it wasn't until the late 1980s that he really hit it big with baseball fans. You see, he played memorable roles in two super successful movies, Bull Durham and Field of Dreams. Those movies made people think of Kevin Costner whenever they thought of baseball. And get this, 
He didn't stop there. He continued with two more baseball movies, For the Love of the Game and The Upside of Anger. But here's the really interesting part. Kevin's love for baseball goes beyond just acting in movies. He has actually got a ranch out in Aspen, where he loves to gather up his friends and family for a good old game of baseball. He is a successful businessman. Before we can take a look at his failed marriages, did you know that he was actually a successful businessman? Whether it's his famous baseball movies or any other genre, Kevin Costner sure has made his mark in the world of film. But hold on. Because there's more to this Hollywood star than just what you see on the big screen. Did you know he's also a savvy businessman? Yep, he's been involved in all sorts of ventures that have nothing to do with acting. After that big oil spill back in 2010, Kevin Costner got together with some smart people and co-founded Ocean Therapy Solutions. It's a company aimed at helping out when there are oil spills or other environmental disasters. And that's not all. He is also a part owner of TIG Productions, which made some famous films like Dances with Wolves and Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Oh, and get this. Kevin Costner's got a vineyard too. It's called Midnight Star, and they make some really fancy wines there. With all these different businesses, it's no wonder his bank account is sitting pretty at around $250 million as of 2023. Not too shabby for a man who started out as just an actor, right? His turbulent failed marriages. While Kevin Costner has certainly made a name for himself in Hollywood and his business ventures, his personal life, particularly his marital journey, has seen its own share of ups and downs. Kevin met his first wife, Cindy Silva, back when they were both studying at a place called California State University. Imagine that. Cindy was described as looking like Snow White, and she even got to play the princess at Disneyland during her summer breaks. They got married in 1978 and had three kids together during their 16 years of marriage. Kevin once said Cindy was everything he liked in a woman, beautiful, sweet, and smarter than him. It's lovely when people find someone who ticks all their boxes, isn't it? But, you know, life isn't always a fairy tale. Rumors started swirling about Kevin not being so faithful, especially after he worked on a movie called Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Eventually, they decided to go their separate ways in 1994. It must have been tough, but they managed to sort everything out about their kids and money without any big fights. After that, Kevin had a brief fling with someone named Bridget Rooney. She was said to be connected to the Pittsburgh Steelers, which is a big American football team. And from that fling came his fourth child, a son named Liam. Things were a bit complicated at first, but Kevin made sure Liam was taken care of. Then, there's a twist in the story. Kevin met another lady, a former model Baumgartner, who later became a designer of handbags. They had known each other for quite some time before they started dating. But you know, love isn't always straightforward. They broke up for a bit because Kevin didn't want any more kids. But his lady love said she'd wait for him. And guess what? He came back to her, and they got married in 2004. They even had three kids together. But alas, sometimes things don't work out as planned. Just last year, Kevin's wife filed for divorce, saying they couldn't fix their differences. A judge even had to step in and decide how much Kevin should pay each month for their kids. It was a whopping $63,000. It turned out that they already had an agreement about their money, which meant everything was strictly according to the rules. Still, it's sad when marriages end, especially after having such a big family together. But here comes the most shocking thing. Kevin has found himself a new love. Who is she? Well, before we reveal her name, let's talk about Kevin's actual source of happiness, his kids. Kevin Costner may not have had the best luck with marriages, but he found true love in his seven children. With his first wife, Cindy Costner, he shares Annie, Lily, and Joe. Liam came along with Bridget Rooney and his younger ones, Caden, Hayes, and Grace, are with his current wife, Christine Baumgartner. He's proud of his children's achievements and often talks about them. He once shared his deepest worry, that someone else might raise his kids if something happened to him. He wants to be there for them, to guide his sons into manhood and to share life's wisdom with them. Despite being close to his daughters, Kevin doesn't play favorites. 
He believes in showering all his kids with love equally. Kevin sees movies as magic, but being a father is the most rewarding role of all. He cherishes the moments when he can leave the heroics of the big screen behind and simply be a dad at home, sharing love and wisdom with his children. He is a down-to-earth man. Just as Kevin Costner's dedication to his children is unwavering, so too is his commitment to his craft, whether on the silver screen or in the realm of television. Throughout his illustrious career, Costner has not only portrayed heroes on screen, but has also exemplified the qualities of integrity and kindness off-screen, solidifying his reputation as a genuinely good human being. Kevin Costner has always remained grounded and true to his values. Costner's career has been built on a foundation of strong moral principles. He's selective about the roles he takes, choosing only those that embody integrity, justice, and genuine emotion. This commitment has shaped a filmography that continues to resonate with audiences, reflecting his belief that true heroes are those who remain faithful to their ideals and convictions. A lifelong affinity for Westerns has defined much of Costner's work. From his childhood fascination with how the West was won, to his enduring love for the genre, he gravitates towards projects that showcase the resilience and spirit of America. His dedication to portraying these themes has solidified his reputation as one of the leading stars in modern Western cinema, culminating in his role as John Dutton in the highly acclaimed series Yellowstone. Working on Yellowstone, Yellowstone owes its creation to the vision of Taylor Sheridan and John Linson. Sheridan's journey from actor to screenwriter to creator of the series underscores his emergence as a prominent figure in Hollywood. Do you know what makes Yellowstone such a captivating show? Well, it's none other than Kevin Costner, the talented actor who has won an Oscar. Yes, he is the main reason many people tune in. It's the first time Kevin appeared on a TV series. Well, unless we count that short miniseries Hatfields and McCoys. Sheridan, the brains behind the show, thought having Costner on board was key to giving it just the right vibe. He even said in an interview back in June 2018, Kevin's been one of the biggest movie stars for the past 40 years, and rightfully so. He's not just an actor, he's a darn good storyteller. Whether he's acting, directing, or writing, having someone like him on board lets us throw him into some real nail-biting situations. Now, why did it take so long for Costner to appear on TV? Turns out there's a story there too. In 2019, he admitted that he found it tough to get into character without knowing where they're headed. He called it a bit nerve-wracking for an actor, and even confessed, I ain't too fond of it, to be honest. Despite his initial reservations, Costner has embraced the opportunity to work with Sheridan, praising the writer's dedication and work ethic honed through years of perseverance in the industry. What his colleagues say about him. Now let's dive into what makes working with Kevin Costner on Yellowstone such a remarkable experience for other stars like Kelly Riley. Kelly Riley, who portrays the fiery and loyal daughter Beth, has nothing but praise for Costner. She describes him as the nicest, most generous actor she's ever worked with, highlighting their fun and close relationship on set. Despite her own extensive experience in the industry, Riley admits she's still in awe of Costner's talent learning something new from him every day. Luke Grimes, who plays Case Dutton, echoes Riley's sentiments, emphasizing Costner's unwavering passion for his craft. Grimes admires Costner's dedication to dissecting scenes and delivering his best performance, even after years in the industry. Josh Holloway, known for his role as Rourke Morris in season three, shares his admiration for Costner's commitment to excellence. Despite portraying antagonistic characters on screen, Holloway speaks highly of Costner's professionalism and dedication to his work. Cole Hauser, who portrays Rip Wheeler, emphasizes Costner's character off-screen, describing him as a wonderful person to be around. Hauser appreciates Costner's genuine nature and enjoys their camaraderie on set. Despite initial challenges, Costner's positive influence shines through leaving a lasting impression on his colleagues and contributing to the success of Yellowstone. Controversy regarding Yellowstone. Now, despite all the success, 
The story of Yellowstone sure has had its fair share of ups and downs. You see, there's been some trouble brewing behind the scenes and it fueled some rumors and controversies. Now, Kevin Costner, our favorite cowboy from the show, has been accused of causing problems for the producers and directors. He was not appearing on set made it difficult for the team by not giving enough time to finish up season 5. Can you believe it? Seems like he has got his sights set on a new movie called Horizon, and that's causing a bit of tension. It's like when you're trying to juggle too many things at once. Now, there were those who were defending Kevin, saying these claims are nothing but hot air. His lawyer, Marty Singer, is adamant that Kevin is dedicated to the show. According to Marty, Kevin's always been passionate about Yellowstone and has gone the extra mile to make it a success. Sounds like Kevin has got some good people in his life. And then again, there's Kelly Riley stepped in trying to make peace. Despite all the negative rumors, a source claimed that Kelly has a close relationship with Kevin on screen and off. They say she's been sending friendly texts, trying to smooth things over. She even wanted one more season for the show so it could have a proper ending. The actual reason why he left the show. Eventually, Kevin Costner decided to leave the show after season 5. But get this, Kevin had some genuine reasons. So Costner told the truth in court, revealing why he decided to bid farewell to the show. One big reason? They split season 5 into two parts. That meant double the filming time for him. He had already a busy schedule because of his project, a Civil War saga called Horizon, where he's writing, directing, and acting. He told the court all about the back and forth negotiations. It seems they couldn't agree on things, and he felt like he couldn't continue everything anymore. He even asked for a hefty sum, something like $12 million to stick around, but they walked away. But that's not all. Costner hinted that there were some creative differences too. He didn't dive into details, but it seems he and the show's creator, Taylor Sheridan, might not have seen eye to eye on everything. Now about those final episodes? Well, Costner didn't give away much, but it sounds like he might be heading to court over some payout. And remember that note he wrote about earning less this year without Yellowstone? It seems like he's moving on. The show's wrapping up in November 2024, but whether Costner will make a comeback for those last episodes? Well, time will tell. His current hectic lifestyle. Now, if we talk about Kevin's life behind the cameras and these acting projects, it's quite surprising. You might think that after starring in big movies, he'd be soaking up the California sun, right? Well, surprise! Kevin's taken a different path. Instead, he's nestled into the cozy town of Aspen, Colorado. Yes, Kevin Costner's got himself a sweet 160-acre estate there. After years of hard work in the movies, he's built up quite the fortune, with about $400 million in his account. And what did he do? He invested in his dream spot amidst the stunning Rocky Mountains. They're his absolute favorite, you know. Now let us paint you a picture of his place. It's like stepping into a storybook. Imagine waking up to breathtaking mountain views every day. And get this, his estate sits right in one of the fanciest zip codes in the whole country. Kevin calls it Aspen Independence Ranch, a fitting name for such a beautiful place. His new beginning, but Kevin's story doesn't stop there. In fact, there's something new and exciting in his life that has captured hearts and headlines alike. After going through his third divorce, Kevin has found himself a new love of his life, none other than Jewel. Yes, that Jewel, the singer. Now here's a fun fact for you. Jewel herself has earned some serious fortune through her life, with an estimated fortune of around $14 million. Quite the wealthy pair, aren't they? Well, the qualities that truly define Kevin Costner are his humility and down-to-earth nature, despite all his fame and fortune. Now let's take a moment to reflect. In a world where fame and fortune often go hand in hand with ego and excess, how do you think Kevin Costner has managed to stay so grounded and humble? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned.